Fizz, and I guess with the options that they picked, yeah, it's quite all right. Uh, Betsy so on Fizz. They have thrown a pretty massive curveball H2K's way. Um, Betsy on Fizz is the most normal thing, but you know enough about that. Before we hit the rift, we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at this matchup that is sure to be a crazy one. On paper, their roster is actually quite strong. Like you have Forgiven, you have Capuchard. After the first week, my goals didn't change at all. So I just want to, like, to be the best. If they don't fix the communication, it won't be surprising for them to pretty much get stomped. We had this little to no practice at all. We'll see. Time will tell. I'm going to beat him and I'm going to try to get him and I'm going to Requested the aid of his support. He's got no summoners though on himself right now. So if they decide to hit, the going hit it hard, they might be able to do it. Forgiven now, focus down. Goes to Pepper trying to help, but Forgiven's burning and he gives up first blood. That one goes over to Odoamne. Goes to Pepper down too. Double kill on Odoamne, and this is why I think Ash is a good pick, but she has very innate weaknesses. They're gonna be able to see it, but they know Odoamne is there. Forgiven will be on his guard. Got the BF sword now. Might see, uh, trade back. Might see a bit of a fight here. Smite's on him. They throw down the equalizer as well. Can he get back to his base fast enough? No. He goes down. Odoamne picks up kill number three. He's going to have to make. Uh, Making anything happen. A really crazy. Well, move around. Let's see if Ryu can intercept him here. Lulex, urchin strike from Betsy. He's trying to get into the brush. We'll talk about that. This is where you Looks want to like get a cross-map objective in mid. Betsy's keeping the abyssal. Two people, three people here. He, they want to get something in the middle. And can they get a tower? Anything? No. H2K is there. They're the ones on it right now. Equalizer Forgiven. Comes down. He's going to have to flash after the equalizer. He's going down. So is Gosu Pepper. It's H2K that find themselves something across the map. You hold the line here. They're not pushing it. But now it might change. Betsy, <laughs> flash, or rather uh, hook, is predicted just a little bit. And shove the waters onto Lulex. Betsy's looking to finish a kill off here if he can. Wild gross on him. Kasing. In comes the barrel as Kabushard picks up a kill. Diamond Prox, meanwhile, in the brush, duking it out with Yarnin. Betsy will find Ryu. And Gambit have gotten back into this one with a double kill now onto Kabushard. That went about as wrong as it could for H2. And now we know why. Yeah, I'm just quickly double checking. I think Oduwane is dealing true damage to every member on Gambit by now on Magic. And look at that flame spitter. Yep, throws down the equalizer. It's not going to connect, but Ryu says that's just fine. I'll clean it up. Grabs himself his first kill, and Diamond Prox is knocked away from it all. Because it, it costs you the tempo. You can use that equalizer to set up for a potential dive because you have enough damage to pull it off. Oduwane is back. No ultimate this time. Gap. Yeah, oh, there Gap we go. Going in. Diamond was able to get the flash and the knockup. They will shut down Odoamne. Some much needed gold over to Cabo Shard. So Gambit grabs a little bit back for themselves. A little bit indeed. Maybe a little bit panicked as well as Gambit are forced to back away. Now in Diamond comes Ryu. The teleport is up. Yeah, looks like he might have missed that combo, but Double Lulex won't. There we go. They managed to get that one, but Big Earth comes out to make Lulex turn back. Diamond Prox now healed up, but he's going down to Yarn, and they've caught Cabo Shard on the line. The Fat Man makes a big target as Odoamne is picked off. We've got another double or double kill coming in for Yarn, and Betsy will take down Odoamne, and that's a triple kill. Betsy and Gosu Pepper limp away. Brian carries on the Gambit lineup. Uh -oh. We are going for Cloak. Oh my Elizer god. Elizer is one way to put it. Goodbye, Gosu Pepper. Baron is the next target in H2K sites, but is this a little bit too bold? Forgiven, Betsy and Diamond Prox are still here. The bear is caught. They peel off the Baron. The bear's going down. Earth comes up, but Odoamne is still kicking. And H2K are right back on it here. Can Betsy and Forgiven stop this Baron? No, they're not even going to try. Just watching from the sidelines as Odoamne nearly gets taken down, stays alive, and they back with the prize. So now H2K. What do they do with this Baron buff? They look to maybe pick off Diamond Prox. Ryu goes forward. Kasing still there, holding onto his hook. The flip up. Diamond knows his days are numbered. And Ryu just takes him down. Man, I am loving that he's Kasing, gone back to playing these assassins. Kasing is in his comfort zone. If you didn't see it, what he did there is to put the lantern. Once Ryu clicked it, he flashed forward to give Ryu another gap closer. But he adds another hook. Yep. Oh, chum the waters. It's not going to matter too much as Ryu Kites around a bit, and Betsy gets taken down by Yarn and Flash over the wall. H2K are on a roll. Ryu is looking confident here as he picks up another kill. Forgiven now is the last man standing. Ryu throws down the Zhonyas. Forgiven has to back to the safety of his fountain. The inhibitor is all gone at 27 minutes into the game. H2K extend the lead again.
Because Singh is such a fun player to watch once he's in his comfort zone. He's not afraid to make those plays. But looks like he's not teleporting to the team. The team is moving in for him. This last 2 3 tower. This is why you usually don't defend him. Yeah, he's going to burn his flash. Body slam into Odawamne. Lulek's taking the tower. There's the explosive cast, but it won't matter. Kabashard is knocked up. Kabashard is taken down. And H2K, where they can't succeed on the, on the top, they move down bottom, and nothing Gambit can do can stop them. And Gambit is getting stuck in these positions where no amount of outplay is possible. Once the, the, that fight starts, there's a 0.1 chance for Kabashard to survive that, and it'll would require monumental screw-ups uh, on H2K's side, and that, that speaks to H2K being so good as a macro side. They're laying down an equalizer, bit of a zoning equalizer. They could take the tower, but they want the kills. They're bloodthirsty. Yes, they are, so they will first get that one turret. Diamond Prox has to head back to base, but they've not got much time in left in this game. Gambit, here comes yeah, the Crystal know. Arrow. It hits Yarnin. He should be able to kite back if he wants to. Ryu, though, is in the middle. He pops his clone, or he gets his clone popped, I should say, as Lulex gets a massive knockup and a triple kill again. Going over to Yarnin. That quadra is going to be it. A quadra kill. The Nexus turrets melting after all of that. The pressure was just too much. And H2K are knocking on the door. 30 minutes into the game, they have managed to take down Gambit Gaming and open their split at two and one. Yeah, very convincing win here by H2K and Gambit. Yeah, zero in three at the start of the European Spring Split. Definitely not a place you want to be in. We've seen teams come back to this before. Lowens have started split zero four and came back.